All right, guys, this is gonna be the end of the 2021 slash 2022 squirrel season in Alabama for me. Um, the season will go through uh, March the 6th, which is Sunday. Um, I don't hunt Sundays. And Saturday's supposed to be really hot, like in the in the upper 70s. So I don't think I'm going to be back out here with the dogs. That's why I brought both of them out. I generally like to hunt both my dogs on the very first hunt of the year and the very last hunt of the year. Other than that, I typically don't get them out together. They work fine together. It's just it's very hard to hunt two dogs by yourself, <clears throat> uh, especially if they if they split tree. Um, it's hard to tend to two dogs uh, when you're alone. And if you wanna to try to video um, and hunt with two dogs, that makes it even more difficult as I learned today. Uh, we, there's no telling how many trees uh, we actually made. Um, several den trees, there's quite a few that I just couldn't locate. Um, had, some, had some deep trees, which that's pretty normal when I bring both of them out, they will range out a good bit further. Um, I think the furthest one that I had was 429. Probably the longest one that's on videos, either a 406 or a 393. Um, so it takes a little while to, to walk that far in, in this terrain down here. And, you know, I didn't find a squirrel on either one of those deep trees. Uh, the deepest one I found a squirrel on was in the 220s, 230s, somewhere in there. That's typically what my dogs hunt out anyway. Um, but with that said, uh, Sassy went 13.11 miles today. Betty went 12.26, and uh, they walked me 4.05. So 4.05, that's about double to what I normally hunt. Um, usually about 2.10 to 2.5, somewhere in there. That's, a, that's an average. I'd say 2.5 is probably average for my hunts on little half-day hunts. Uh, and me and my wife did come down here Saturday and hunt, and we went 5.48. We done an all-day hunt. Um, hunted the morning, went and got some lunch, come back down the evening. So that was the longest one we've done all year. And, uh, yeah, I'm still feeling that one. So I'm gonna couple the top this four mile on top of that. I'll be feeling right in the morning. Uh, but I wanna thank everybody that tuned in to this channel. Uh, those, those of y'all that subscribe, those of y'all that just tune in and watch the videos, I appreciate you tuning in. I don't plan to be monetized. I don't think I'm uh, interesting enough <laughs> to, to have that many views. Uh, squirrel hunting's a small little niche, so there's not a, not a big audience for that. I didn't uh, start this channel to, to try to make any money or uh, be anything special. Um, the reason this channel got started was I wanted some, some footage of my dogs. I wanted a way to preserve my pictures and my videos uh, besides on my phone and a photo album. Um, so I created the channel just so I would have a way to, to look back at, at my dogs if something ever happened to those, those two uh, methods of storage that I have. So I think I've got enough video of those up um, to last me a while. I don't know if I'll film any of my hunts next year. I may, we'll just have to see how it goes. Um, it's been fun, but it is, it is very hard to, to self film. Um, especially with a cell phone. I do everything I do is done off of a, off of a phone. I do the filming, the editing, everything's done off the phone. So it's, it's pretty hard. It's time consuming. Um, I may look into a GoPro. If I get a GoPro, I may, I may film some more hunts. But um, I'll, I'll try not to make my videos so boring next year. I won't do as much talking. So, uh, But anyway, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Hope y'all had a great season. If your season's already over, if you've still got a few days, or if you don't have a closed season, I hope you continue to stack the tailgate full of them. So uh, appreciate everybody, and we'll catch y'all next time.